Right, welcome to Work With Nature vlog. Really excited about covering this topic because, you know, I wanted to talk about it in a long, long time. I never really got around to it, but first of all, this is mung beans. If you've never seen what mung, mung beans look like, they look like a normal bean. They are kind of like a dwarf type of bean. They only grow about that high and they are a great green manure. Now there's two ways of doing green manures and one is kind of I'm going to be presumptuous now, a wrong way and then there's a right way. And I see a lot of farmers using a kind of a wrong uh, way of green manuring. What I mean by that is they basically, they dig their soil, they plant their green manure, they let it grow to the full size, they cut it, they dig it in. And in some cases they only let it grow a certain size and then they dig it in. And what happens with that is it's completely pointless because the amount of nutrients you're going to gain from the green manure is going to be washed out by the soil erosion that happens when you're digging it in uh, and also when you are digging and plowing the, the soil in the first place. Now, the good way to do a kind of green manure is whereby you would take three different uh, types of green manures and you would mix them in together. Now this would be totally different in your climate. I'm going to give you an example of what I used to do in the West on a field scale kind of trial stuff and it worked actually amazingly. And I'll tell you now why in a minute. Um, where you would do a, you would have a plant which is like crimson clover which is a nitrogen fixer. Its roots kind of development would be one where it makes roots on the surface mainly and a little bit deeper down as well but they kind of spread out like like that. Uh, the phacelia makes tap roots, so it kind of goes like like that a lot, so it makes lovely kind of tunnels downwards. And the winter grazing rye would actually do a, a thing where it would make send out eight meter roots, taking nutrients from lower down, bringing them up to the surface. Now what I found is when I cut that, so I'm kind of doing a no dig green manuring kind of bed system. And uh, I just made that up, by the way. That sounds kind of good. Maybe I'll put that in the title, actually. Anyway, so what you do then is you, you cut it. And I used to kind of have a tractor with a big kind of uh, topper at the back. And I go along. And when I cut it, you'd actually get that much. So about five to eight centimeters of mulch on top. And that is unheard of because any gardener will know when they cut their lawn and don't, you know, take off the box. And even if the grass is really high and you're lifting the the lawnmower up a bit to cut it, you'll end up with a tiny amount of uh, like mulch on top, which would never be enough to cover the whole surface area as well. So what you've done there is you've created a living mulch and you created a, 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 an actual mulch on top. Whew, I'm out of breath, all this talking. <laughs> now, the second really cool thing about this is that because of the, the structure of the roots, and most of them, two of those, the Phacelia and the Crimson Clover, are annual, so they'll die back once they've gone to seed. You let them all go to seed. And the winter grazing rye is also um, a kind of an annual because it dies back during the winter and doesn't come back in the spring. So the cool thing about that then would be is that all those roots in the soil would actually start decomposing. And because they're protected with the actual uh, mulch, you get a lot of kind of uh, microbes kind of activity, everything is munching away, you get a lot of worms, you get a lot of fungi, and as, as those roots are decomposing, they become like little tunnels for all this life in the soil. And you also got like air, of course, I mentioned it so many times, when, when it rains, it sucks in the air, and we all know that the better the soil is dug, and the more organic matter is in there, which is all those roots that will be decomposing, and the mulch on top as well, you end up with a really amazing soil as well. So that's what you uh, would end up with if you do it in the right way. Now, what I then tend to do is I kind of plant then uh, plants like, in Ireland you could do like overwintering plants, you just stick them into little bird nests. So I would have prepared them maybe three weeks beforehand in pots, stick them in and just leave the whole thing and to grow and everything grows really well, which is really exciting as well. And you're not kind of damaging your soil that way. So that's the right way to do green manures. Um, one note as well, it was amazing to see the crimson clover go to flower and also the phacelia because I used to have bees on the land and the bees would just cover the flowers and it would create so much uh, biodiversity for all the butterflies and all the bumblebees and all these kind of things. And that's another really beneficial thing if you let them go to seed. And there's this thing 
which I can't rightly explain, but you have to let your plants go to seed in order for them to have some kind of uh, cation exchange in the soil happening. It's like, um, I can't really explain it. It's like the plant will not uh, release, it's to do with ions and all this kind of different things, but the soil won't, the plants won't release uh, certain uh, nutrients back into the soil if you don't let it go to seed. So that's really important as well. Um, some of you might know the, the kind of science behind that a bit better and could fill us in in the comment section. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I've also made a playlist for Work With Nature vlogs, so check out those videos as well. Plus, I have some hundred videos or so. If you haven't seen them all yet, you can always just check them out. Some of my earlier ones were really, really terrible, where I just uh, said a lot of... Uh, Basically, 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 and all these kind of things, but never mind. So check them out. Hope you enjoy them, and I see you in the next one.